We roll? We roll it? Mm-hmm. Five points, you won't go action. Go, Dirks. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Hey, Scott, Body Hunter Boot Camp with a Wednesday vlog. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're here with Bam Bam, uh, also known as Sky. He's going to talk about the gear that he carries every day for work. So here we go. Run us through your setup and tell us what's going on. All right. Well, here we got the Safe Life Carrier, uh, 3A Plus, most comfortable vest I've ever had. Got this before Scott did. <laughs> Uh, Patriot's Eye Talk 100 radio with Motorola. You get the dispatch and the Orton system. Definitely a game changer for all of us. Uh, my patches are the reflective silver. Cost me a little extra to get them through them, but it identifies at night for police officers when you let them know where you're at. The generic little Artec body camera you get off of Amazon for 130 bucks when you're on a budget. The Leatherman Raptor paramedic emergency scissors. It's got a window breaker, seatbelt cutter. My backup tactical pin for my glass breaker, and it's got a hidden key right here. Carry a lighter because half the team smokes, and then we get in the car, and a fugitive always says, you got a smoke or a light? Sure do, buddy. There you go. Is that tactical green, too? Yep, so I can find it. <laughs> I don't honestly remember what these things are called, but they're just little backup lights to attach body cameras or read paperwork in the car. My pig gloves that Scott got me turned on to a few months ago, last time he was out here with me. My pin for riding on. Uh, badge up here. I don't really have my own badge set for our company. And then we jumped over to the Safe Light Velts with the Velcro. This is the tactical one. We carry the Speed Tech Mag Holsters Tacos. They stay in there nice, dirty, quick and go. Max 26 with the Black Hawk Holster. We did modify the top to make it easier to pop out. It doesn't go directly up like some people say, it's just a little quicker to pull out. My ass baton holder. My ass baton is actually in the back of Fugitive's car right now due to an incident with my partner slacking. Uh, right now I am carrying the Streamlight Stinger. Polytech 2? Yep. yep. Which is getting upgraded. High lumen or just the regular? Uh, just the regular. Just the DS dual switch? Yep. Which is getting mod changed over to the Olight Pro, Warrior X Pro. My leg text glove pouch, which it covers my spine, so if I do fall backwards on the stairs, I at least have a little bit of cushion. And then two sets of ASP handcuffs. Mine all have degrading things on them for identifiers, so my PD department here can't steal them. Daddy's little bitch. Yep, and this one's my bitch. The first gen ones. I've had those for probably my whole career. Turned up 350 with them, and they still kick. What What are you? What's your holders? Uh, the g detective back Velcro ones. Or uh, snap caps. Any brand name or anything? Uh, no, I think they're just from Asp. I don't Pickle, think they. Pickle Rick. My Pickle Rick. On uh, my Glock. So what are you what are you doing for fire? We are rocking the Glock 23 Gen 4 40 cal with the Streamlight TLR 1H, which HL, is yep, high lumen. Which is good. Fifty lumens. Which is going to be uh, it's the 150, I think. Which we're switching over to the Valkyrie from PL Pro Olight. Olight. What holster? I don't even remember all these. Safari Land? Yes, yeah, Safari Land. Safari Land level three? Yeah, it's Safari Land level three with the and snap that's the, and that's the, the that's the six thousand and four single drop like. And then you use the quick release so when you're at jail you don't have to take your firearm yep. out. Show this us show us the quick release. So you're out of jail and you don't have to take your firearm out of its nope. holster. And you can just drop it in your lockbox if you have one in your car or your center console, depending on how you run. Robert's car, we carry a little case that we lock and drop in the trunk with a GPS just in case someone swipes his car or the box. My key holder, which I keep my remote for Is the top. Is that the exact tool? Yeah. Corrections key holder? Yep. Which I keep my key fob on for the key when we're out of the car because I get running sometimes. It doesn't on. click around really bad, make a lot of noise? Nope. I'd, actually, what we do, I'll show you guys a little trick, is what we do is we tuck it in. Right up here and it stays. It doesn't interfere with your draw or nope. your thumb break at all? Out of the way. Makes it super easy. Uh, we carry the Fox Mean Green in my pocket because of my hand dominant, and so I have to get to that quick. I can pull out. You know, you've got space here to add things. So you can put a baton. I don't like it. In right a there. little OC spray there. Well, you'd have a problem drawing it with the, yeah. with the cuff case. Why do you carry two cuffs? One for me to use, and one for my partner right behind me, and we're doing a hard apprehension. Two or cuffs or one? Two cuffs or one. 
But also, if we have someone with some big wrist or we can't close our arms behind them all the way, we've got two sets that will link them together. Sometimes three, depending on how wide the person is. There's something in your other pocket. This is where I keep my tourniquet for right now until my speed gear one gets here, and then we'll add the rest of this all speed geared from the flashlight to the baton to the handcuffs. The tourniquet will get added to the belt eventually, probably up front to where I can get to it with either hand if I have to use it on myself or a teammate. Any suggestions for people just starting out? Um, get what you can afford. Don't go out buying top notch like we all have. This is stuff we accumulated over the years. This isn't something that one of us is like, hey, I got a bunch of money, I'm gonna go spend 2,000 on stuff. Get what you can. If you gotta go get a second chance vest or a cheap one for like 300 bucks from your body arm store, get it. It's gonna save you for right now. Uh, AR 500 makes decent plate carrier for right now. I'd rather have Condor than AR 500. Uh, AR 500 makes a cheap, affordable one though. And they do payment plans. It's cheap. But it's what you can work with right So what do you, you know what your total weight is? Nope, I have no idea. Never weighed it. Because I know these are six pounds with nothing on them. You have hardly any. Op, op, you're opposite of me. I have nothing on my belt except pepper spray and a gun, and everything's on my vest where you your vest is very minimalistic. Uh, to me, I just don't like all the stuff in the front, especially because I get hands-on with people. Bam, and I bam. don't want to give them a chance to pull something like the guy did with my handcuff holster. So. Bam, bam, don't give a shit. Nope. Take your front door in near you. <laughs> Lydia, you want to shoot? You want to pick her up here at the end? You should make Trevor do his. He doesn't like being in front of the camera. I would, if he's I willing to a, talk. I got an alpha mask you can put over your face. <laughs> Those things are amazing, bro. So, so how long ago did you, did you switch out to the Safe Life belt? Uh, actually, recently just got it about a, two weeks ago. Worn it maybe over 100 hours now. You don't run into any problems with real estate having so much stuff on your belt with the Velcro holding? You still have no problems? No, it stays locked and tight where it's at. I mean, there's, it's going to change a lot more as the handcuff holsters from High Speed Tech come in because then they'll attach to the tactical molly on the outside versus being inside. Yeah, because that's the, that's the tactical belt. Yep. That's the tactical belt that has the molly straps on it. So, there you can tell right here, this is the only one that's designed right now for it, are the speed techs with the belt clips. Once I find a taser one that will fit in the molly, we'll probably do that. They do make one for the baton, but I rotate my baton periodically through my belt, depending on my needs. Uh, flashlight will stay where it's at. The tourniquet will end up here in the molly somewhere, along with the handcuffs. Will. I have not found one for the molly for the gloves yet, so it'll probably stay the same. But how this is all set up right now, it stays locked and tight with the Velcro underbelt. It just takes a couple practice tries to get it locked on and in the right placement. Sometimes it's too high, sometimes it's too low. So it takes a second to use your thumb to guide it in and lock it in all the way. Yeah, I really like the Safe Life belts. We, uh, we just switched over to those, and those things are just awesome. It's been amazing so far for the two weeks I've had it. I mean, this vest has probably seen over... Yeah, you've been rocking that for over a year. A, I don't even know how much. And You did that through payment plan too, right? Yep. I did that when they had the one. They have the quad one now, I think is who they're using, which is who I use for this. So even if you're on a budget, they do have ways for you to purchase the stuff you need to go. And you've ran with all this stuff and it's all stayed put. Yep. Uh, you'll see on some future videos here in the future of the whole setup and how everything looks. Um, the event that happened the other day won't be on video because there was somebody with me to help record it. But I've been in a high, been in a good foot chase, crossed the highway with this all on, didn't interfere. The spacing between the vest and the belt is in the right amount to where it doesn't block you pulling anything out. It's pushed out far enough to where you can pull your handcuffs without smacking your vest. You can pull your taser without smacking your vest. Your flashlight without smacking your vest. Sitting in the car stays in place so it doesn't adjust like it would with a belt keeper type yeah, vest. That's... So it doesn't push up like it normally does. Sitting in the car for hours on end, vest doesn't push up and choke you out. All right, well, cool, man. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing. Stay safe. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check us out. Say hi to Trevor over there. Hey, Trevor. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera. And special okay. thanks to Lydia for running the camera. Thank you. You make an excellent crew member.